On this channel, we have covered multiple different types of chatbot creation tools like Vectorshift, VoiceFlow, BotPress, and so many others. But today, I have found a really cool and unique chatbot creation platform, which will enable anyone to build dynamic chatbots. In simple terms, a chatbot is usually created from something like VoiceFlow, which will use the large language model to capture the intent where the user, on the other hand, is trying to gather the data, the information, triggering a third-party integration to book a call, or even have it so that the customer will pay an invoice through the chatbot. But what ends up happening is that when a large language model captures the intent, this is where it will route the user based off the flows that have been already created beforehand. For example, take a look at this workflow on BotPress, and this is where they have created a chatbot flow, and you can see how this flow will capture the intent and guide the customer through this flow that has been already pre-built. Now, in simple terms, nothing's wrong with this, but it's very fixated. This basically means that the flows are built where they want the customer to respond on certain types of questions or answers that they expect from the user, and they basically use those expectations to have it so that they can funnel them through this loop, and then they can basically end the conversation. So what's the problem with that? Well, this is because there's no dynamic chatbots with natural conversation flows. And this is where I'd like to introduce Chatbot Builder. This is a great platform that is not your generic chatbot builder that we see with Flowwise or with BotPress. It's a dynamic platform that is very intricate and the chatbots are not fixated on a specific route that you create. They're smarter and have dynamic approaches to respond to queries. Now, enough of me talking about this. Let's get straight into the video and explore what you can do with Chatbot Builder. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Chatbot Builder. This is a dynamic platform for creating the best custom chatbots as well as GPTs for your websites, for social media, for emails, as well as for phone calls. This is something that you can integrate your own AI with thousands of different applications. You have the ability to connect different tools, connect your teams, as well as gaining a competitive advantage with this platform. Now, the reason why I say this is probably one of the best chatbot builders out there is because it's an ideal platform for automating customer service, it's going to be able to simplify communication. You can have it so that you can tailor user experience. You can also utilize their user-friendly platform so that you can use their drag and drop UI, craft these different sophisticated chatbots as well as these GPTs. And you're going to be able to do it quite easily with this platform. For example, take a look at this chatbot that has been created for my channel. It has integrated a voice agent so you can basically get responses through voice. Just take a listen. Welcome to World of AI. How can I assist you today? So in this case, all my videos as well as all my docs have been uploaded to the chatbot and it's going to be able to answer anything about my channel. For example, we can ask it, what is World of AI? And within a couple seconds, we should get a response, which is going to give us a good detailed understanding of what my channel is. And it even asks, would you like to see any specific videos or topics we cover? And I can say, yes. Can you please show me a video on AI agents and it's going to be able to reference through my catalog of videos and it's going to be able to provide the most latest video on autonomous AI agents as well as a list of them and you can see that it has provided me five different recent videos on autonomous AI agents it is also going to be able to go into the video and give you analysis of what the video is talking about and this is the great capability of the chatbot builder and the great part is that there are so many different integrations where you can have it connected with Zapier, Eleven Labs, Google Sheets. You have your email. You have different social media platforms as well as personal CRM flows. So this is something that has a lot of dynamic integrations and you can easily get started right away. Speaking of getting started, how can you actually get started? Well, take a look at the link in the description below for Chatbot Builder. And once you are on this website, you can click on the sign up button. You're going to be able to create an account with all of these different options. So once you have done so, we'll be right back. 
Now, once you have created your account, you'll be then sent over to this dashboard. where you are going to be able to create and integrate various sorts of third-party plugins, tools to your chatbot. This is basically your admin panel. You're going to be able to manage all your chatbots and create different accounts here. You can see the different types of analytics, such as who is interacting with your chatbot, what sort of responses you're getting, as well as different active contacts. If you go to inbox, you're going to be able to see all the conversation logs. If you are to go back and take a look at the flows, this is where you're going to be able to edit your workflows for your chatbot. You can see that there's different flows created already, where you can integrate a search GPT, a prompt generator, and so many other things. You have custom fields, error logs, and you can see that this is a very intricate backend for your chatbot. You have different keywords that you can associate for your chatbot. You can have it so that there's different broadcast messages that are sent to your customers through the chatbot. You have marketing integrations where you can easily run Facebook lead ad automations through it. You can see that this is a very compact and intricate and dynamic platform that is focusing on a lot of different things. If you go to the playground, you're going to be able to test out your chatbot builder that you're working with. For example, you can utilize different models such as the GPT-4 model, GPT-4 Turbo, as well as GPT-4 Omni. And you can start off by setting a system prompt to describe what your chatbot is, and then you can easily get started. Now, going back to settings, if you go to the channels, you'll see all the different integrations that you can work with. You can go to integrations, and you're going to be able to associate with different language models, different sorts of applications like Google Sheets, and you can even have different payment get getaways being associated with your chatbot. And this is just like the start, guys. There's so much more to it. You can add more integrations and more channels. So how can you get started in creating your first chatbot? You want to head over to the flows tab, and this is where you're going to start off by creating your first flow. You can name it whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to be showcasing a world of AI chatbot. And this is going to be a chatbot that's going to assist anyone and it's going to be incorporating various sorts of integrations. So this is just our basic generic chatbot that we're going to be creating and we're going to continue forward with it. Now, this is where you're going to be able to interact with this drag and drop UI to basically create this dynamic flow for our chatbot. Now, on the bottom of this UI, you're going to be able to see this panel where you're going to be able to preview your chatbot flow, zoom in, zoom out, as well as auto organize the steps. Now, if you click on this addition button, you're going to be able to source and add all these different nodes, such as a send message node, a start flow node. You have actions, conditions, send email, split the traffic, wait a little bit, landing page, and so many other things. So what you would want to do is you want to start a flow so you can click on this and drag this all the way on the left hand side. You can see that there's a couple of action items that you can set for it. You can get a step ID, rename it duplicate it and you can even select the different types of flows that have been already created for example a welcome message with an audio this is where you can welcome people with that audio like we saw in that example before like in this case we have that example where it's going to be able to provide this welcome node now this is a ready-made template which is going to be generating prompts for you now this is not your basic fixated flow where it's going to be asking generic questions and going to be giving you a response it's going to be more intricate. It's going to understand your user query. It's going to ask questions as a flow, but it's also going to go over and beyond by asking other sorts of questions that would be able to get you that best generated prompt. And you can see that this is a quite an intricate flow that has been created within this node. It starts off with a welcome message. It utilizes OpenAI's large language model API key. And then as you go down, there's various functions that have been added to this. For example, you can see that there is a start flow function, but there's different conditions such as having a pause where it waits for the user reply. It is also able to ask questions and retrieve information from the user query. Now from here, it's going to be then approving the prompt or it's going to be disapproving it. So what we can do now is just simply publish this and we're going to be able to test this out. And there you go. We have our prompt generator chatbot created and published with WeChat. So you can see that it gives us a welcome image. It also describes, hello, could you please provide me the business information related to your chatbot? This may include your business name, website, phone number, important people, and their contact. And this is basically the details of the product and service. And this will help me create instructions tailored to your specific business needs. So I'm gonna basically draft up something 
uh, and I'm going to have it sent over and we're going to have it generate the prompt. And there we go. I have a rough draft of this prompt generated for this query. And you can see that after I provided my business details for the chatbot that be, is going to be developed from this prompt generator, we can see that it's going to be asking you generic questions from a fixated response from this flow that we have created. You can see that these are fixated responses which will be queued up. But you can see that this chatbot is way more dynamic than other chatbots as it's going to ask follow-up questions. It's going to use its own large language models context to go over and beyond to get the best flow out. And it's going to be able to get you the best responses. And you can see that it is going to give you a purpose prompt generator for your chatbot. And you can see that it's going to give you, after providing the details for my bot, it's going to give it a purpose. And that's based off of the answers that I gave it or the description I gave it. And it's going to give you a user input and assistant response for the prompt system. So you can see that this was something that I developed within a couple of seconds. And you can see how dynamic these chatbots are. Now, I don't think I have enough time to go over each aspect because there's so much to this. But basically, you can go over to the settings and you can configure the customizations of your chatbot. For example, for general purposes, you can have it so that you can subscribe or unsubscribe different users. You can have different languages. You can even have it integrated into e-commerce stores where you can configure certain things. And if you are to go over to the different sorts of categories, you're going to be able to customize your chatbot even further by customizing the UX of it. For example, changing the color, the branding, so that it could have a better sleek look. And that's about it for today's video on Chatbot Builder. I can just keep going because there's so many features and things I want to talk about. And this is where I'm going to be actually making another video on this. But this is a great tool for you to build intricate and dynamic chatbots. And I truly recommend that you try this out. Because in my opinion, this is probably one of the best solutions that I would recommend to you guys. Not just because this is a sponsored video or anything, but just because of what I saw out of it. And how you're going to be able to create these dynamic chatbots, which can elevate your customers' interactions or for personal use cases with a chatbot. But... I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below, as well as this chatbot that I created for my channel. This is something that I truly recommend that you try out so that you can understand the dynamic responses that you would get from this chatbot builder. But with that thought, guys, make sure you follow me on the Patreon page because it's a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI descriptions that we give out on a monthly basis. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.